played at the highest level. What's different about this camp compared to last year when you were here? Um, I mean, last year was my first camp, uh, you know, first taste of Columbus and how everything works. And I mean, this year, uh, you know, it's pretty much like everything it ha hasn't changed a lot, but it's still a learning process. It's still learning from the coaches and everything that you can learn from them. And, you know, in the gym or on the ice or just talking to them off the ice, it's, it's still about learning. I mean, a year ago, you came in here and you said you wanted to make the team, make the Blue Jackets. Obviously, you didn't. Um, how did you break then your season last year? I mean, was it disappointment not making it? Was it ugly? Yeah, I mean, uh, I don't think a lot of guys, you know, are happy when they get cut, but. It's all about learning. I'm still young, and um, you know I came back in juniors, and you know a lot of ups and downs last year, and I learned a lot from from everything, whether it was the World Juniors, getting traded, making it to the finals. Uh, so it was it was really um, a big step for me in my career. I think you know taking getting cut was was something, and then you know everything else that happened during the year. So this year, what are your goals? Uh, same as last year, is going to make the team. I mean, this summer is uh, really different from last summer. I don't have the draft. I don't have the combine. I don't have all those, like those. I don't have all the, the, you know, the stuff that come with the draft. So it's going to be uh, more of a training summer, more relaxed, and um, get ready for camp. Is there more confidence for you this year, knowing uh, what you, knowing what to expect, all those kinds of things? Yeah. Well, last year is everything was new. It was, you know, when the camp started, I was a little nervous and everything. Uh, now I know all, all the guys, you know, the, the staff and everything. So um, right now it's it's development camp. I'm a lot more confident, but I'm still getting ready for for camp. What are you uh, looking to uh, improve on? Improve? Uh, what's what's the goal this week? Um, you know, it's first time on the ice this summer, so just want to get back at it. Um, like I said, last summer was really busy with all the drafts and everything. So, um, you know, right now I'm just getting back on the ice, getting back to to what I, I can do, and you know, keep getting faster, keep getting stronger. You feel good today? Yeah, I felt good. Um, like I said, it was the first time on the ice, so I was a little rusty, uh, but it's it's good to take that off right now and. You know, get back on it uh, this afternoon. The Jackets uh, season um, to make you even more excited about this plug? Yeah, um, I know when I got drafted here, I knew it was a really good team with all the young guys, and um, you know, I, I kept the kept the tab on them the whole year, watching them, you know, talking to a couple guys. So it's it's really fun to see your your team that you're drafted to win and you know play well, and it's it's just it makes me a little bit more to, more uh, motivated to make the team next year. Having just gone through it last year, how can you help these new draft guys who are just here now? Um, yeah, well, I experienced everything like that last year. So, um, you know, the, whether it's you know talking to the young guys or the guys that are just got uh, their first camp or something, just you know making them feel more uh, comfortable on the ice, you know, in the locker room. I know it's it's not fun, you know, being going to your hotel, not talking to anybody, just you know staying there. So it's it's fun to to include everybody and make everybody comfortable. You were transitioning into playing center last year. How's that coming along for you? <laughs> uh, like I said, last year was a big learning year, and it kept going to playing center. I got more and more comfortable. Um, you know, the the game is a lot different from the NHL, so it was more about learning, and I feel a lot more comfortable with the position right now. Pierre, I apologize if this was already asked. Talk about the trade and what that did for your game. Um, it was. Uh, I think it was a good thing. It was. Um, you know, I had two really good years in Cape Breton. I liked it there. I liked my my billets, the coaches, the, the players. But um, I think it was time to, you know, to move on and to go for a team that was really going to for the cup. And I mean, we made it to the finals. We lost, but things happened. But it was it was really good to learn from that. You know, see a different perspective of, of hockey, of new systems and stuff like that. And I think I learned a lot from it. What changes did you see in your game as a result of that trade, if any? Yeah. Um, I mean, we played a different type of, uh, of game in uh, Blainville. You know, a little bit more defensive. Um, you know, that's how we won our, our games. You know, winning two one, winning more a pro style game. So I think I, I learned a lot from that, and, and I learned a lot from the coaches. And you know, um, everybody really helped me. When you see the Blue Jackets lose William Carlson and the expansion draft. Does that maybe give you a little more uh, incentive to make the team this year and move in maybe his slot? Yeah. Well, I mean. Whether it's him or anybody else, taken, I think you know to make the team you have to you have to make your way in. Uh, you know whether it's I don't want to be mean, but pushing somebody out. But you know what I mean you have to you have to make your place. And you know William was a really good player here. I know a lot of guys liked him. I met him. He's a really good guy. So it's um, I mean it's a talk. It's tough to see somebody go, but I think it's an opportunity to maybe uh, to get in there. What goals have you had for yourself this off season going into next season? Um, you know, it's keep getting stronger, keep getting faster. Like I said last summer, with all the draft, all all that, um, I didn't have a lot of time off. Um, I mean, I've probably spent two weeks at home in the whole summer, so now it's going to be good to 
you know, stay at home, work out, go on the ice, you know, not think about uh, going somewhere for two weeks, coming back and stuff like that. So it's going to be a really big summer. I'm really excited. You were here for a few weeks before camp. Will you stay after this camp or will you go home? Um, I was here. I've been here for three weeks now. This is going to be my, for the month. And um, I think uh, in July they're, they're renovating everything, so I'm going back home. And then uh, in August I might come back. Last year I came back before camp, August 20th, so I, I might see. We'll see what happens. I saw you talking to Gregory Campbell out there on the ice. He wasn't here last year working with you guys. What's it like to work with a guy like him? Um, you know, I, I got the chance to meet him at camp last year. You know, he helped me a lot. Uh, me, me in my first camp. You know, he's the kind of the guy that you know that took me and you know helped me on faceoffs, helped me on small things of the game. So I really appreciated that. And then he moved into the player development role with the Jackets. So I got to talk to him a lot. So he's a really nice guy, really funny. You know, he has a he played a lot in the NHL. He has a lot of experience. So. I mean, whenever I get a chance to talk to him, it's I learn a lot from him. And your league mate, he's ill today, Vitali. But talk about the season he had. Yeah, he had a really good season. <laughs> I mean, got the chance. I played against him. I only think once, but uh, you know, he had a really good season. I think he got MVP, yeah. top scorer. So really happy for him. He's, I mean, he's a really good player. Yeah. I'm not even surprised he got the he got top score. He's he's that type of guy. Did you guys stay in touch much? I know you guys were at Travers together then, but did you play? talk to each other through the season or not so much? Uh, yeah, when um, like I said, we only played against each other once, so for sure after that game we, we talked to each other, but um, you know, he's a really good really good, good guy, really funny, so we always talk to each other in the, the year. Nice. Yeah, how much did your game grow in terms of being a centerman this year? Because I know you played just a little bit the year before. I think you're pretty much full-on center this year. How, how much more comfortable are you with that position now? Uh, honestly, I'm a lot more comfortable. Um, you know, like I said, the junior game is obviously kind of a lot slower than the yeah. NHL, so it's you can learn a lot from it. And um, you know, whether it's positioning or just getting used to it, you know, getting good habits and stuff like that. I did a lot of video this year, so uh, I really learned from from yeah. everything. It was a defensive style more in, after the trade for you. Yeah, um, I mean, our team we're the type of team that you know that wins games uh, two yeah. one that play more of a pro style game, so. It was good to, like I said, I learned a lot from that trade, you know, yeah. seeing a different perspective of, of the right. game. And um, especially as a center, you know, defensive, sure. the defensive zone, everything yeah. defensive is a big part of my game. So, um, like I said, I think I learned a lot from that. Yeah. You look thicker. How much, how much have you gained um, size and muscle-wise? Well, muscle, I gained more, but I, I'm pretty much at the same weight. I just, okay. just more uh, less fat and a yeah. little more muscle this year. <laughs> Look at the two guys, the guys drafted ahead of you. They had the seasons they had in the NHL. What do you think about that? I'm happy for them. They're two good players, two good guys. Um, had a chance to meet them at the draft, and you know, leading up to the draft, going to San Jose for the Cup Finals last year, and all those stuff. They're two really good guys. Obviously, really good players too. And happy for them. And you know, hopefully, I can I can make the team next year and have a good season too. Did you make the two mile run in 12 minutes? No, <laughs> no, I'm a bad runner. I think it was. Uh, Last year at camp, I think I ran 12:20, and uh, right now it's big, beginning of the summer, so I think I ran like 12:40 or something like that. But Still you're a bad runner. Yeah, yeah <laughs> I'm too heavy. 12:40. Yeah, no, it's. <laughs> yeah, but no, I'm a. I get. I'm not a good runner, honestly. I never run. I like doing bike better. Do you do you see a job there for your taking? Uh, for the camp, the, yeah, the team. I mean, do you see it? It's the job that's yours. Um, how you look at it? I mean, I look at it as, you know, to make the NHL, I think you have to really have to play, have a good camp and, you know, show the, the entire staff that you're you're ready to play. And I don't think it's different for me. I think it's the same thing for everybody. Everybody wants to play. Everybody wants to have a good camp. And I don't see myself having a spot over somebody else. I think it's it's just mine that I have to take it. Are you excited about the expansion draft? Um, as a fan, like yeah. as an NHL fan, it was, it was cool. I, I mean, I was too young when the other teams came sure. to the league, like sure. in Columbus and yeah. Minnesota, and so it, it was fun. Um, I mean, I didn't know really what to expect. I, yeah. I didn't know, but um, I mean, it was a fun thing to watch. Every guy in your perspective, though, has a pretty clear idea of what depth charts are. So when Carlson goes off the board, you smiled a little bit, I'm guessing. Um, he's a really good guy. He, he's another yeah. guy that helped me in camp, so yeah. he's um, he's a really good player. I know a lot of guys here liked him. Um, I mean, you know, it's a good opportunity, I think, for him in Vegas, too, and he's, uh, I think he's going to be happy, but maybe it's a spot, but like I said earlier, I don't think I have the advantage over anybody else. I think it's just mine to take, and whether he was here or anybody else.